Iris Apfel, a New York textile designer, socialite and self-described, geriatric starlet, who became an unlikely fashion celebrity in her 80s for her outre style, died Friday at her home in Palm Beach, Florida. She was 102. Stu Lozer, a spokesman for her estate, confirmed her death in a statement but did not provide a specific cause. Instantly recognizable for her trademark oversized, owlish spectacles, Mrs. Apfel became an improbable fashion star. She appeared regularly in the style pages of the New York Times, starred in advertising campaigns for Kate Spade and Coach handbags, was photographed by Bruce Weber for Italian Vogue magazine and was the subject of a documentary by the celebrated filmmaker Albert Maisels in 2014. As she neared 90, Mrs. Apfel juggled multiple fashion lines, including a makeup collaboration with MAC Cosmetics, a beauty brand known for its unapologetically bold colors, a collection of eyeglasses for eyebob, and multiple handbag, accessory, fragrance and clothing lines, including a home shopping network collection. She wrote a memoir, entitled, Iris Apfel, Accidental Icon, in 2018. Her dramatic, eclectic fashion taste won the admiration of designers such as Isaac Mizrahi, Jason Wu and Duro Olowu. She became a symbol of aging with audacious flair. Just because you get to a certain number doesn't mean you have to roll up into a ball and wait for the Grim Reaper, she told the London-based youth fashion and culture magazine Dazed in 2012. Before 2005, Mrs. Apfel had a 42-year career as co-owner, with her husband, Carl Apfel, of a textile firm that designed fabrics for high-end clients, including first ladies and movie stars. She burst onto the international fashion scene at 84, long into her retirement from the textile industry, after pieces from her personal wardrobe were exhibited at the Metropolitan Museum of Arts Costume Institute in New York City. Harold Coda, the Costume Institute's director, had asked Mrs. Apfel to lend some jewelry from her collection for an exhibit about accessories. It didn't start out as a fashion show, Mrs. Apfel once said, but he decided that to show accessories out of context didn't make much sense, so he asked if I could spare maybe five outfits. He expanded the exhibit to include 82 outfits and more than 300 accessories. The show, titled, Rara Avis, Rare Bird, Selections from the Iris Barrel Apfel Collection, displayed a juxtaposition of Mrs. Apfel's high and low fashion finds, for example, Vintage designer outfits matched with outlandish costume jewelry. Opulent, antique Chinese robes adorned with whimsical flea market goods. And luxury coats paired with feather boas and exotic trinkets. As New York Times art critic Roberta Smith wrote, Before multiculturalism was a word, Mrs. Apfel was wearing it. It was the first time the Met's Costume Institute had honored an individual who wasn't a fashion designer.